हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलंपियाड अलजेब्रा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव के स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय के इज इक्वल्स टू 16 एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ के सो हियर वी मूव टुवर्ड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मेथड एंड इन द फर्स्ट मेथड यू सी हियर द हाईएस्ट डिग्री ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इज 2 व्हिच मींस दैट दिस इक्वेशन हैज 2 और लेस आर इक्वल टू रूट्स ओके सो दैट नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड ऑल दैट रूट्स फॉर दिस वी मूव दिस के फ्रॉम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टू द राइट हैंड साइड एंड इट विल बी रिटन एज दिस इज के स्क्वायर दिस के इज डिवाइडेड बाय लेफ्ट हैंड साइड व्हेन वी मूव इट इनटू द राइट हैंड साइड इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 16 एंड इट विल बिकम 16 टाइम्स ऑफ के so here further in the next step we need to move 16k from right hand side to the left hand side so it will becomes k square minus 16k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these two terms involve k so that we will take common k from here and when we take common k we get the remaining values are from here we get k only minus from here we get 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k equals to 0 and the second case is we write k minus 16 equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this equation and from here we have k is equals to this is minus 16 and when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 16 so here from first method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation and further in the next step we need to verify that is these two roots of the given equation are solution or is these two roots of given equation are extraneous root so for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is k square divided by k is equals to 16 and here in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 16 so here first we verify k is equals to 0 and for this we put k equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior so when you put it here it will become 0 square divided by 0 is equals to 16 and now you see here this 0 square becomes 0 divided by 0 is equals to 16 so here you see that in the left hand side this will becomes 0 by 0 form or in other words we just call that it is the indeterminate form so if our left hand side be the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal uh, this concludes that the value of k is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so that we have the solution set of this question is k equals to 0 so uh, sorry this is uh, so here k equals to 0 is called that extraneous root okay as uh, it is the extraneous root because the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root and the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution set so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and now we verify the second value of k so here we substitute k equals to 16 into the left hand side and it will becomes 16 square divided by 16 is equals to 16 and now you see here this 16 is cancelled out by this 16 and we get 16 equals to 16 this shows that both of the sides are equal this means that the value of k equals to 16 is satisfied our given question statement so we call that and the solution set of this question is k equals to 16 so this is the final conclusion about first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and uh, in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is k square divided by k is equals to 16 
I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So our second method be the very quickest method. So here we quickly get the values of k uh, and now here we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n. So according to this rule. Uh, you see that the exponent of denominator term is 1 so we move it into the upper term and it will becomes k to the power of 2 minus 1 is equals to 16. So here we uh, quickly get the value of k is equals to 16. But in the first method you already verify that this value of k is satisfied over given question statement. So here we don't need to again verify this value okay. So here we just conclude about the solution set of this problem is that k equals to 16 be the only one solution of the given equation which we get here from second method. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.